to Salem. <laughs> you know how rich you are by how many gables you have. <laughs> <laughs> candy. America's oldest candy co. <laughs> so we're here in Salem. We're gonna walk to the House of Seven Gables. Yeah, it's not too far. It's like 12 minute walk. It's a nice a, day. I need a walk after that three hour drive anyway. Yeah. I could really use a walk. We've been driving for a while. It's a really pretty little area. Yeah, it's so nice. It. Just had a wheelie, a city bike. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I could do it better, but there's traffic as you can see. Yeah, don't do it anymore. That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. He was a Witchcraft. So what are we doing? We're looking at the pamphlets. I guess people don't use these anymore because they're hidden in the corner, but I still use them. Witch Museum, which is right across the street. It's so scary. Oh, 19 people were hung. I thought it was 14. Mm. I wonder if they do like reenactments. I think they do, but they're like really bad, like mannequin kind of people. Like Ugh. really bad Disneyland. We'll see. Thing. We'll see how this compares to Disneyland. Okay, so I went to that. I think the hat is too much. Do you think I'm like, hey, I'm a tourist with this hat? I think Ashley's a little nervous because it's yeah. still about a month out from Halloween and we don't want to look like tourists well, too much. With the big camera, we kind of do. You yeah, can wear back. it. I can wear it? Mm -hmm. You can wear it. I can wear it. It'll keep the light out of my eyes as I'm filming today. <laughs> Once I see one other girl with a witch hat, though, I'm putting it back on. Okay. What? Excuse me, what? Yes. Oh, yeah. Please enjoy some hot up cider mm. and some music while you wait for your room. So we are on Turner Street? No, we have to turn. Oh, we have to turn into Turner turn Street. Into Turner. I am the map. Yeah, the map. So it's very quiet right now. It's kind of nice. We're here a little bit early for the Halloween season. Um, it usually gets pretty crazy. We saw in some other vlogs people did here in Salem. It's really warm out too. It's not really fall weather right now. Not even close. No, it's about 85 degrees out right now. It's very Los Angeles right now. It's time for fall. It's September, get it, get it. These places need to be more like this place. What's a gable? Um, I think we will learn on this tour we're about to take for the House of Seven Gables. Is it a gay fable? Uh. Like Peter Pan? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Where does it look cuter? This I side or this side? Super, super cute right there. Super cute. Wow, it's tight. Basically climbing up the chimney right now. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh. That was pretty tight. We just finished the House of Seven Gables tour. It wasn't haunted. No? No. No? <laughs> Nothing that I noticed. It was definitely tight and cramped in there though. You no, know, that's how, they'll tell you why. They'll tell you why. You should do the tour. It's a really fun tour if you come here to Salem, Massachusetts. It's one of the main tour kind of spots. And we, figure, we figured out what a, a gable is. Yes, they teach you what a gable is. You guys want to know? Do you guys want to know? That's a gable. That's a gable. <laughs> that, that's a gable. <laughs> but that's not a gable. No. But there's seven of them, so like all the, the points is a, is a gable. So it's all the points on the roof of the house. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they kept making it bigger, adding seven grand gables. For bragging rights, I guess. Yeah. Who knows? You know how rich you are by how many gables you have. <laughs> you have two gables. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are off now to find food. Find no, some just, food. I'm, just, I'm like always like food. But there's also this beautiful view of uh, the Salem Harbor. Relaxing. Yeah. It's such a, it's actually kind of a quiet town yeah. right now. Where to next? I think the Witch Museum. Did the House of Seven Gables first because we wanted to make sure we made it. It was from about 10 o'clock to about 5 o'clock you can do the museum tour. The other museums are near, closer to our hotel. Oh, it's fall a little bit, lady. Wait, 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 wait. Fall okay, stand, stand over here and stand in front of me. What are you going to do? Oh, it's fall. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>
I could have done it a little more graceful, but uh, I kind of just threw it at her. <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. I've never really gotten to crunch full leaves before. Yeah. We don't have this in California. Nope. Crunch, crunch. Ooh, glass. Yeah. Ooh. It's so pretty out here. Nature. Ugh. We are currently on the most important part of the Seven mm -hmm. Gables house tour. Where mm -hmm. are we right now? The gift shop. The gift shop. <laughs> That's our thing. We're like, ooh, things to buy. Yeah. So we couldn't really film inside of the tour, so the gift shop is about the best thing we can do. Because then people will be like, oh, then I don't need to see it. I can just watch it online. I, I respect that. The tour was very worth it, I suggest going on. Oh, he was great. The tour guy was awesome. Yes. His name was Jeff. He was great. He did an awesome job. Very thorough, very smart. Mm -hmm. I'm always running into <laughs> the high beams. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a sign right there. Can I read you some poetry? <laughs> Nateri asked at length, I replied, How long have you cough? I think I skipped a little ahead. It was towards the close of the festival, the sixth month of his seclusion, and while the pestilence raged most furiously abroad. Stop, I can't take it. No more poetry. You know what it does to me. Very well. <laughs> That's the tiniest book I've ever seen. That's really Get that for Nicole. <laughs> you tired? Nope. Okay. Carry on. We don't have bees like that in California. Do they sting? Yeah, it's a bumblebee. It'll definitely sting. <laughs> One extra one. It was that good. It was very good. Yeah, we forgot to mention the House of Seven Gables. Uh, there's a famous book by Nathaniel Hawthorne about the house, and you should check that out if you're interested more about the history of what was his name? Nathaniel Hawthorne. Uh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> no, we learned about the history of uh, Thomas Turner. Hawthorne. Turner. 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 The Turners. The Turners who lived here. Oh my God! Are you kidding? What are we doing? Candy. What is this? World's oldest candy shop. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> candy! <laughs> oldest candy shop. America's oldest candy co. It's right across from the House of Seven Gables, literally across the street. Come on, go on. Oh, oh, this will be get some candy. Halloween in here. So maybe we'll just get some candy to hold us over. Can we just get some candy? Uh, yes. Just get some candy. Candy pizza. What? Look at this cat. Old-fashioned molasses stick candy. Ooh, so this is like the old school original candy First here. Stick candy is made and sold in America. Black Jacks where the first stick candies made and sold commercially in America are made from black strap molasses originated in Salem by the George W. Pepper Company circa 1830. All natural, heartful, and delicious. And they're still made from the original recipe and cut by hand. I knew all that because it says it on the back of the package. This feels like straight cavities. Yeah. You want to get some? Here you go. <laughs> you try it though. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's try some. Step right up. What? I got you something. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got you something. A couple of eyeballs. I have enough eyeballs at home. 
Thank you. Chocolate spiders. Chocolate spiders are Oh. Can <laughs> Candy. <laughs> So we got our candy. We're gonna find a place to sit and eat it right now, but there's really no place to sit and we have other museums to see. So I think we're gonna save it till we get to the hotel tonight. Ooh. Evening. Evening <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate candy. Keep us awake all night. Um, How many's in this? Eight. Eight pieces You need of candy. eight to fit in a box. Otherwise they're gonna put it in a bag. And you want oh. it cute? Put it in a box, right? Oh, yeah. super cute. Right, right. So we're gonna try all that candy tonight and the original candy that we showed you in the shop. Yeah. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. It's kind of hard. But hopefully the chocolates don't melt too. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hot. It's hot. It's like sun hat, witch hat, sun hat, witch hat. They would see me go, oh, that's a cute hat that girl has. Ha ha! Stretch her off. <laughs> it's a Halloween hat. <laughs> We'd knock on the door and see if anyone's home. Is that the proper way to enter a witch's house is to knock on the door? I mean, that's what I would want. And do you see the hat? It's true. That's a good point. They get you right from the start. You want to buy things right away. We have to go that way. That way. I guess there's no one home. <laughs> We're at the witch house, and I did no research, so... <laughs> this is, I just asked a friend, where should we go if we go to Salem, and she said the witch house. <laughs> Two decades prior to the infamous Salem witch trials, a well-respected household is falling apart. A young girl is tortured by an invisible milady. <laughs> what or who is to blame? Has the devil been raised on New England's frontier? Okay. All right. Here it is. You can put it in the overhead. Yeah. I think so. That'd be weird. I think you can bring a broom. I think you get one bag, a purse, and one broom. What is that? Is that a curse? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Comes, this is a marriage license. Comes with me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get tickets for the tour. So that was pretty cool. Sorry we couldn't get any film for you guys again. Yeah, both the tours so far. You're not allowed to film inside the house, obviously, because they want you to come on the tour. They don't want you to just watch it on YouTube. Yeah. But, yeah. I know. It was fun. It was quick. It was just upstairs, downstairs, lots of cool um, cool. period props. Right now, I think we're going to get food. I think we need to eat something. We haven't had anything since 7 a.m. Yeah. to eat. Yeah. And it's like 2. Yeah. Let's get food. Let's get food so we can make some coherent statements on this video. Oh. Derving. 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 You want lobster? Yep. Follow me. That smells good. Smell it, guys. It's like apple cider. Oh, that's a good one. Witch's broom. I like that. That's good. Can we get filled with potpourri? Potpourri. I love how vintage he is. It's kind of adorbs. It looks a little sad. It's cute. Like Please it. subscribe. Please. <laughs> yeah. Please subscribe. <laughs> I can't do as much as that. <laughs> that pumpkin has no teeth. He ate too much candy. Lavender. Do you like lavender? What is it? Black lavender. Yeah. That's good. Ooh, that smells really good. You like this one? Yeah, that one's good. Can I take matches? Okay. Not on the plane. We can't uh, take them on the plane. I don't know. No, you can't take matches on the plane. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's an endless night vampire ball, and they do it all over the um, country. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. People well, think they're vampires. Well, I like that there's also a survival store <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh my gosh.
Airsoft. Knives. Yeah. If, if anything gets out of hand on Halloween, you can go to the survival store and pick up all your supplies to survive it's right the now monster attack. Essex and Washington. Oh, yes, it's wonderful. You guys should follow my my Instagram channel. What is it? Making your own magic. It's just pretty. It's just all pretty stuff. Sometimes a girl wants to take a break from Star Wars. Not my girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. We got two lobster rolls. This is the cold one. So that's a traditional. I think so. Um, is Connecticut warm? Yeah, Connecticut's a warm one. Ours a warm one. So this has like celery and lemon and mayonnaise, and this is just like butter. We haven't really had lobster rolls that much, so I don't think Ashley's ever had one. I've never had lobster rolls. My mom loves them. Yeah. We're gonna dig in. We haven't eaten in like seven hours, so. I know. Let's get in there. Mm -hmm. Which of the lobster rolls did you like more? The traditional. The traditional? Mm -hmm. Which one was that one? Right? Oh shoot. Was the traditional the cold one? Connecticut was the warm one. Yeah. The warm one? Traditional. Yeah. No, traditional. Because I just like... I like mayonnaise. Yeah. I know it's supposed to be gross, but I love it. I don't... I love mayonnaise. So we're all done with our lobster. We're going to this little cute store across from the lobster shanty. Look at this guy. He's so snobby. <laughs> One too many hard ciders. Spells and potions. This is cool. Uh, I could write all my spells and potions here. The sleeping death. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, that's cool. And, it's, and then here's like the melting wax sticks. You can choose what so color you want. So you melt the wax and then you stamp it. So then when the person that opens it, you know that somebody like broke into your letter because uh, the stamp seal is, is split. So people awesome. would pick different like fancy stamps for their, their wax to seal the envelope. So then that was like your symbol. Usually like it would be your initials or something. I like the moon. Maybe there's like something with a moon and stars. I've never done it, but well, it's, fun. it's not a thing that people do a lot anymore. No, but I know about it. Yeah, you have to write an aggressive letter to somebody, and then you pour the wax and you stamp it down. You've opened this. You've been cut. <laughs> Everything's a curse today. <laughs> Super Which one would you fancy me in? Oh. So I hear you're into steampunk. Oh. <laughs> so they are. I know. I like just it. love my new bonnet. I love it. I love it. You love these hats. It's cute. Look at the All the different ways you can wear it. Oh. Which one should I pick? This one, right? Like, but okay. It's like wow. kind of like flipped like that. This is it? Yeah. Depends on which direction you go. The most popular tends to be like the side swipe. Yes. I mind if you don't. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, oh, really actually, it's yeah. quite cute. Most people wear it that way. Yeah. Like, you can definitely do it any of these different directions. Really cool. So you're telling me there's only six ways to wear this hat? There's at least six ways to wear this hat. Oh. We only have diagrams of six ways. They can only document six ways. <laughs> so it's fun to kind of discover what other ways you can wear the hat, too. Exactly. Yes. So feel free to play around with it. They're all yeah. U.S. made. They're all crushable. Flatten them. They're packable. It's the most popular ladies' hat right now. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, adorable. I think just wear it just like that. Like this? Just straight. You can too, yeah. Yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> if you want to go totally over the top, go super 60s. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Do it. And get a little, a little ridiculous with that. 
I feel like you're going to serve me cocktails on the airline. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me? Let's just have a waitress feel to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stewardess. <laughs> stewardess. Welcome. Yeah. Something airlines, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Those That's are cute. fun. We've known each other for years yeah. because of Star Wars. Yes, and yes, Star Wars. We got the, got the Rebel right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. We just walked in the shop and I heard my name. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's been so years. great. Tell me about your amazing shop that you have here. Um, so we're called Emporium 32. We focus on trying to be like a vintage lifestyle store. Uh, we focus on as much US made or artist made as we can. But our sandbox we play in time wise and, and uh, aesthetic wise is kind of late Victorian through about the 1930s or 40s. Yeah. Kind of anything that feels correct in that. Our big rule, my, my wife and I own the store, is that we only buy things at the store that we buy for ourselves. So that keeps it really authentic, uh, makes us that we're excited about our product, we're not just selling things like, oh, well, somebody might like this. No, no, stuff that we want, we're selling to our customers that are ourselves. We've been here three years, but we've been in business 11 years. My wife and I um, used to make jewelry and leather work. We still do a little bit, uh, but we mostly just design things now. We design a lot of pins and, and prints and things like that. So we have a lot of our own work in here, but we also carry about 100 different brands right now. About 80% of which are US made or artist made. Brilliantly decorated. Thank you. Love it. That's up the fun. We're yeah, always doing a different project. Yeah. Well, that's what's fun. That's what I like about it so far. It's very fun. There's a lot of things to explore and find yeah. here. So you kind of feel ownership over it a little bit when you like, find yeah. it. You're like, Ooh, exactly, yeah. We want to discover it. things. Um, I know you guys are Disney people. We're huge Disney people I as well, too. Know. We are definitely inspired by Disney and Harry Potter. Um, even our name, Emporium 32. Mm -hmm. Disney, all their fan clubs have a number at the end. Mm -hmm. So when we were coming up with our, our new name, we were rebranded when we were 32 years old. Ah. So oh, that's yeah. the secret of that. Yeah. We are, what's an old world title that can kind of work for everything, but also has some sort of like little mystery attached. So yeah, the Disney Disney fan club sort of things definitely inspire us for that. Yeah. Yeah. Details. We did all the wallpaper, we did all the painting. There's still a few details here and there we want to tweak. We want to add more baseboards going there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And we got our first animatronic recently. We got some of those two months ago. Oh, it's all tar. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to make a wish? Don't wish to be big. You're, I'm you're already, there already. I'm a little bit bigger. You always have one wish granted like every 30 or 40 tickets. Really? Oh, boy. Oh, man. The great Zoltar here. Listen to this, your fortune, for I tell you it is true. The smallest good deed is better than the grandest intention. Take it from me, the great Zoltar. Intending shall get you nowhere, but doing, yes, that will bring you much, much reward. See? Provide Take action. Zoltar more treasure, <laughs> and I will provide you with the depths of wisdom. What are you waiting for? Come on over. For a small fee, Zoltar will give you a wealth of wisdom. <laughs> wow, well, that's cool. And? And when's the reading? Hold on. Now this one's about concept. intent. Yeah. Intent? And action. <laughs> I took action. Come so, here, guys, come here. Yeah, so far, Emporium 23 is the coolest shop we've been to. It is the most detailed, the most love and care put into the decor here in the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the selection of items that they're selling. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So All, many everything's things. Everything's great. So many fun things here. Yeah. And hat shop. Very cool hat shop to have. You can get your fortune read. Maybe you'll be big. Maybe you'll make it big. I don't know. It's your fortune. You gotta ask. <laughs> but I would highly recommend coming here to Emporium 32 here in Salem, Massachusetts. Excellent shop. Too much to buy. I don't know what I'm gonna buy. Too much. Too much to buy. Four? I know. This is what I'd want in our kitchen. Oh, that's a good idea. What? Bat teacup. Bat teacup? Mm -hmm. I like the poison apple too. That's pretty cool. They're all adjusting too. Ooh, that's pretty. Purple's pretty too. Yeah. I do like purple. I like it. That's you like nice. purple? I like purple. It stands. It's, it stands out, but it's not as. It's not as it. bold. Yeah. Actually, I love this. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. Second. Which one should I try on? Should and I? The red one. I think red would be my color. Mm, yeah, like that. I think I can style it just a little bit. Just a tiny. But just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. I'm not happy right now. <laughs> you can eat your snacks out of here. You could, uh, you could do washes. You could throw your wash. 
Um, what else could you do? Um, you could do it to enlarge your butt. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Nice butt hat. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's like, whose line is it anyway? Whose line is it anyway? Show. Mm. You could be a clown at the circus. Turn your nose. It's <laughs> a good one. The new pair of lips. <laughs> yes. I enjoy this very much. You should buy this hat. <laughs> That's the winner right there. Nice. Oh, those are the best hats. Yeah, yeah. And the purple one too. Uh huh. It's the same color of your hair and your shirt right now. Too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So it's yeah. We're, we've got <laughs> in the wall. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So that was fun going to Emporium 32, running into old friends of mine. Um, their shop is amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually got this awesome hat, multi multi changing, transforming hat. I love this hat. It's super cute. And you got a really cool. Um, which is broom pin. Like broom, but it's a brooch because it has two different snaps on it. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff in there. Like, I could just stay in there forever. It was very Disney-like, so if you're a fan of Disney, I would check out that shop. Because mm -hmm. um, Nick and Julian are awesome. Wait. Jesus. Brian. The line stopped. This is the, this is the end of the line, actually. We're not supposed to go any further. <laughs> No, oh, it's even worse. The line ended. We, we're not supposed to keep going. So what did we do? Push beyond where no man or witch has gone before. Onward! <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I gave you the card. I wanted to be real in the moment. <laughs> Hocus Pocus. Mm. You never saw the back. No. They just kind of went in and left. Magic is really in the back. They could just hid in the garden the whole time. Oh. This is beautiful. Wow. So one of the nicest things about being in Salem today is just how peaceful and quiet and relaxing everything is. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful too. The weather's been warm, but it's been very bearable still. Um, but this garden here at Allison's house from Hocus Pocus is... The Ropes Mansion. The Ropes Mansion. I wonder what that means. But uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. This garden is amazing. You didn't even throw anything, but somehow something moved in the water. What's with you and your magical powers with the fish? Every time Ashley commands the fish, they just come to her. That's our day here in Salem, pretty much. It was very relaxing. Very magical. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot more touristy. But maybe at this time of the year when there's not as much of the Halloween celebration stuff going on, yeah. It's a little more relaxed. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. I wish we had more time here. Yeah, okay. maybe, maybe a little bit in the morning. Yeah, we'll do a little bit more. Maybe a little bit in the yeah. morning. Yeah. So we're back after our long day of being out in Salem, and we promised you guys we were gonna eat these chocolates that we got earlier. So we Ashley, which one did you eat already? The orange one. You ate the orange pumpkin. Mm -hmm. How was it? Kind of tastes like. Chocolate and candy corn. Chocolate and candy corn. Ugh. There's like a mix of the two. Oh, I don't know if I like that. So we're ending the night like we promised, eating the chocolate that we bought at the Yield Candy Company. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. The Yield Pepper. Yield Pepper Company. Company. I couldn't read I. the box. It was upside without down. Without a Y. It's I-E because it's yes. old English. And we also have this old school bar of Black Jack's Ugh. original candy. It's made of molasses. Ew. 
Uh, we're going to try this and see how this is, but this is one of the original you're, Halloween candies. Gonna I'm going to try it, apparently. You're going to try that. Some molasses candy. You can also mortar your bricks in your house with that. This? You're going to put this in your stomach. Yeah, I'm going to try some. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this stuff. It's sugar, molasses, caramel color, cream of tar tarar. I think that meant tartar. All right. Corn starch. You, are you going to taste them with your stuffy nose? I don't know. I have, a, I have a cold a bit right now, so we're going to see. I feel like I'm taking my temperature right now. Mm. It's definitely hard like a candy cane. Mm. Oh, okay, like a candy cane. It doesn't taste bad. It's kind of like a mild sugar. It's not like really intense sugar. Can you imagine if like your grandparent was like, here, I got some candy for you. You're like, that's not candy, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> candy, Grandma? It kind of tastes like root beer. Put you in the big picture, you see? Yeah, they're gonna rest on, don't you know? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. These were um, these pumpkins, which are adorable. This is a, a chocolate caramel apple. I know I got a dark chocolate lemon, which I think is this one. Do I'll do the one that I really wanted to try? The bourbon one. It's a bourbon dark chocolate with caramel. Yeah. It tastes like bourbon. Does it? No. Yeah. I don't like bourbon. Oh my god, caramel's all over my hand. They're so cute. I hate to eat them. Please don't teach me. I'm just a pumpkin. <laughs> just do it. Eat them. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That's not like Reese's peanut butter. It's like. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I didn't know those were peanut butter ones. Mm -hmm. I like the peanut butter one the most so far because peanut butter and chocolate. Who doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate? So well, they are. Who oh, discovered that as a genius? Oh, God. That one tastes like alcohol, too. Really? What other alcohol candy did you get? I didn't mean to do it. It was maple. Maybe. That's what it tastes like. It's maple. It was a dark chocolate maple. The, the other one was definitely bourbon. Okay. That one was I didn't maple. try the other one. Okay, okay. that's maple. Oh. We're eating this chocolate for you guys. Oh, we do this because we love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll take it all for you. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to get fat and get cavities. <laughs> I love lemon candies mm. with chocolate. But do you love this lemon candy with chocolate? Mm. It's had better. Better? Sorry. Mm. Pretty sour. Yeah. Um, lemon truffle. At Seas Candy. That is the best. Mm. I hope it tastes like apple. Uh, Chocolate and caramel. No apple. Chocolate and caramel. But it was red for apples. Well, that's actually all of the flavors of the candy. You didn't try the orange one. I have not tried the orange one. You I did. actually like the orange one. Okay. The orange one's fun because it's like a little pumpkin. I feel so fat filming myself eating candy as we're about to go to sleep. I like that one. Mm -hmm. These are adorable. Mm. What are we going to do with this last guy? Oh, It's chocolate and peanut butter. Uh, maybe we can raffle it off to somebody on our channel. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to send you guys melted squished chocolate. I'm sorry. Okay, so like, you know, like Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. The pump, the ones that are shaped for the holidays, like they have the East, or the, not Easter, they have the eggs. Mm -hmm. Halloween, they have the pumpkins. And then Christmas, they have the trees. They actually taste different. Like, because they're bigger, and the, hmm. the peanut butter is thicker, so it's like a different consistency. But the real question is, who is going to eat this last piece of candy? Awesome. Huh? Actually. What last piece of candy? Uh, I was mistaken. There's no more candy. You ate it all, remember? I did eat it all. I must Here, have, it all. have your hard, huh. weird candy. I'm going to have your weird old pass man out candy. and eat some of this old man candy. <laughs> You're going to maybe fall asleep now. Are you going to fall asleep? Yeah, we can take a nap. I've been duped. What are you talking about? You know what you did. <laughs> I don't want to eat it and go tonight. Peanut butter and chocolate is such an awesome combo. Always believe that one day you too will be sitting in some random hotel room in Salem eating candy in bed in Halloween pajamas. Mm -hmm. And stop looking at the viewfinder. Look at the lens. I keep looking at the viewfinder all the time instead of the lens. <laughs> I'm like already tired. We haven't started yet. Yeah. So the last thing we're going to do today is check out the Witch Museum that we missed yesterday. Uh, there's just so much to do here in Salem. But we've got our tickets and we are about to go watch a presentation about the history of witches. 
And I didn't sleep last night. I'm very yeah. Sleepy. <laughs> he kept waking up and look, there's a ghost. Oh, yeah. There's a ghost in here. No, it was just me snoring. Oh, if you come here first, you get discounts on the places we went to. <sighs> Here's a tip. If you come to Salem, go to the museum first. You want to do this first because this is how you get the history of why you're here. Mm -hmm. Now we know. Now we know. Now you know. found a wand shop. It's like an Ollivander's in here. <laughs> but it's not it's not Harry Potter. No, it's different. Yes, we have a full going trip there down on the cake. We have. So what did you find? This is um it's an urn wand, so it's a giver's wand. It's for people who like to give a lot. And me. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally you. Yeah. So it keeps you safe. And then there's a light of protection on the wood. Mm. So even though you're going to give yourself away a lot, you'll be safe. Mm. Which I like it. That's why it looks like an urn. See? Can you pour an uh, urn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that was not... It's amazing how when you picked it up... It was the first was, one. Yeah, and that's what it was told to you is mm -hmm. the, the uh, story behind the wand. Mm -hmm. Which is completely you. Yeah. That's, that's why I was completely like, oh, your personality. Okay. I'll take it. I take it. Yeah. I didn't even look at anything else. Yeah. yeah. But you took a little bit more time. I did take a little more time. Okay. So, at first, I had picked up this wand. It was very unique looking, um, sort of in the area where you picked up your wand. And it's very nice. I like it. I like it's very kind of ornate and it's very light. Um, and I guess it kind of reminded me of my parents' bed growing up. Like the, the legs of the bed, like a piece of furniture. But she said it was very much for strategy because it kind of looks like a chess piece. But it still didn't totally resonate with me. And then I came over to this area with these wands, and they're much nicer wands. Nicer wands. Yeah, but they were so beautifully made, and I'm someone who's so into artistry and craftsmanship, and actually I was eyeing this wand a little bit, and then I finally got around to picking it up. And I don't know, it just feels right. Um, it looks like a lightsaber at the end. It does look like a lightsaber at the end. Oh, gosh. It has this nice brass tip to it, and the grip is very much like a sort of like a lightsaber, and it feels sturdy and strong in your hand when you're holding it. But also the the wood has this nice sort of um, patterning that really adds to the pulsation effect, kind of the wand. And then she was explaining it sort of as a magnification, how it transfers and pulsates from different sections to kind of amplify your your power as it shoots out of the wand. And apparently. This wand is made of leopard wood. Leopard wood is uh, very useful in divination, which I didn't know about. But divination. 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 Divination, which apparently is for levitation, for flight. Um, and also this wand is positive for luck, helpful for moving forward with life decisions that you're going to be making. Uh, any big choices you're kind of afraid to make, this wand will help you with that. So. She's very good. She convinced me. I like it. I don't really have any wands. I'm not as much of a Harry Potter and wizard fan, but I wanna, I wanna get a wand as well while we're here. I need a wand. I mean, I can't walk around as a muggle all the time. <laughs> Where'd you find your wand? It was like the first one I called to me. Yeah. <laughs> this one in particular, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Pink. 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 Got my wand. Pretty awesome. Hope you enjoyed our relaxing vlog today. Yes, we're gonna sometimes do these lower energy, chilling it out, mm. chilling yeah. out vlogs. We love Disney, but we can't do it every weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was not Star Wars, but it was amazing. We mostly came to the East Coast to visit some family quickly and make a quick trip up here to Salem and celebrate Ashley's belated birthday a bit. Belated birthday. Well, the bell is tolling, and that's it from Always Believe today. I guess we have to return home. That's the like and subscribe bell down below, you guys. You hear it?
Like and subscribe for more videos, more fun on Always Believe. Thanks for watching, guys.